<laughs> you ruined my life. <laughs> How's it going? I hope you're having a super awesome day. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Technoblade's video called Skyblock, the Great Potato War. And to be honest, I don't really know what to expect from this, but you guys have been begging me to react to this, like years, literally. So I'm gonna watch. I might have no idea because I don't really play Skyblock, but you know what? It's fun to learn and see what's going on here. I haven't really seen a lot of Techno's content, so I'm super excited about this. It's should be fun get an idea of who techno is and just see what the heck this potato war is all about because i have no idea <laughs> techno blade where have you been all this time well you see i've been farming <laughs> potatoes in skyblock this is really random but he has a really nice voice i feel like he could like narrate a nature documentary <laughs> you know like he just has a voice like that okay that wasn't a joke it all started months ago i just got in a set of superior armor and wanted hot potato books to upgrade it i could have just bought some from the auction like hot a normal person books. but if high pixel has taught me anything it's that if you have a problem the answer is slavery so i had 20 potato oh minions, my 20 god buckets, 20 <laughs> super compactors 20 diamond spread ins because it's it's just free money get this upgrade and with this setup i, I, I was making about two hundred forty-two thousand okay. potatoes per oh day at this my point i had gosh. enough potatoes for my my armor i could have stopped i could have put an end to this but i thought no no what if i went even further you can check your ranking in each individual collection and i was already top 50 in potatoes i decided at that moment top 50. that i was going to be the number, number one, one. Oh potato my gosh. in I sky block how hard could it be first i needed to get more minion slots now i already spent a lot of time getting to 20 minion slots because i, I don't know what that means Does that mean... i mean they work 24 minions? 7 gathering resources even if you never oh. bother like... is it kind of like having a villager except they don't go to sleep or something I'm, I'm not really sure you guys are gonna just have to fill me in okay i'm a bit of a noob when it comes to this i don't know but i'm still interested to find out so let me know the only way to achieve the dream that all Skyblock players share, which is to not have to play anymore. Unfortunately, each minion slot requires exponentially more resources than the last, so I did what any self-respecting Skyblock player would do, and sat in the shop menu buying ice for 30 minutes. I don't understand. I'm having Why? fun. I don't get it. I dropped out of college for this. And after spending <laughs> many hours and 15 million coins, I finally unlocked the 22nd minion slot. At this point, I thought I had first place in the bag. I mean, there's only a couple of solo minion. players that have 23 minion slots, and I figured if anyone went to that much trouble to get more minion slots, they'd probably spend it on a minion that actually makes money, like clay minions. But I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna go even more overkill, all right? I'm gonna upgrade my level seven potato minions to level nine. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, Technoblade, isn't that obvious? Isn't it just more potatoes? Why wouldn't you do that immediately? No, no, it's not, all right? Upgrading past level seven on minions never makes sense. You're never getting that money back because upgrading costs over 100,000 potatoes just to get to potato nine. That'll take over two months to get that money back, over eight months oh, wow, yeah. for level 11. It's just a bad idea. Oh, but Technoblade, isn't that just a long-term investment? No. No, it's not. Remember cactus farms? Remember how they were great for like five days and then the admins obliterated them in an update? Yeah. You really think your dreams are going to go that long without getting Aww. crushed by the admins? No. No. You're never seeing that money again. I'm sorry. It's gone. I feel so so lost a little bit so please guys just give me all the details down below on this stuff that i'm missing because i'm a little confused i should maybe play this maybe i should start playing this because it seems fun it seems fun but i have no clue what's going on <laughs> i was farming them for honor for glory so i started upgrading them to level nine my last hidden weapon was the farming crystal which increases the speed of nearby farming minions by 10 percent. i could only fit 12 minions in that radius but i thought you know what whatever i'll just make a second farm crystal here we go oh okay no no I'm, I'm glad skyblock tells you that after you make a second crystal i mean it's not like you could just tell me that after i make the first crystal whatever it's not a total waste of money at least i can auction Thank oh. you, Hypixel. If I wanted to fit all my minions <laughs> in that 8 block so radius, sweet. I'd have to think in the third dimension. And so, after restructuring oh, my farm, smart. the potato pyramid was complete, yielding 309,000 potatoes oh, per wow. day. Okay, but as an ex-English okay. major, I decided that math wasn't enough to defeat my enemies. I needed to consult <laughs> the classics. In The Art of War, Sun Tzu says, if you know the enemy and know yourself, 
you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So I decided to do some investigative journalism. Oh I my god, is he gonna find the September, other person? Which a user named I'm a Squid Kid bragged about being ranked number one in potatoes. By stalking his profile, I found another post weeks later in which he suggested he was now around seven million potatoes. By putting these oh. two data values on a grid, I could calculate the slope to estimate his average daily potato yield. It wasn't perfect. A lot. Was <laughs> I, I love of. how he went through all that math and then it just says a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, this to is estimate hilarious. how strong his potato farm was. I mean, it's not like I could just go to his island and and look at it. Or could he? Oh my gosh. Wait, that worked? But what I found shocked me to my very core. No, no, this can't be. This man Why? made eight potato 11 minions. And then he painted the Mona Lisa. It was at this moment <laughs> I realized that I wasn't dealing with the potato madman but a potato super villain. At this point, I fell into despair. All sense of rationality, even the slightest hope of making his money back. This man had thrown them all away to farm potatoes. I had two more minion slots than him, but his minions were so high level that he was still making more potatoes than me at 310,000 potatoes <gasps> per day. But I wasn't even that worried about his potato farm. just a little farm. bit I mean, more. I still had some minions to upgrade. I was confident I could make a stronger farm. I was worried about his head start. The month I spent farming the pigman sword, he'd already been farming potatoes. According to my calculations, he was already seven and a half million potatoes ahead of me. Even oh, if all my minions my magically God, became level 11 at that very moment, Oh my it would God. take 107 days to catch up. Whoa. I can't go that long without uploading. My fans will murder me. So was that <laughs> it? Was my quest to become the number one potato farmer in Skyblock destined to end in failure? No. No, I refused. The sunk cost fallacy wouldn't allow it. If I wanted to defeat a man that had descended into potato madness, I would have to take his insanity and triple it. It was at this moment I spoke words oh that had gosh. never been uttered in the history of Skyblock. I should get minion expanders. Minion expanders have long been known as the most useless item in Skyblock. So you know how all minions have this like five by five area in which they work? They don't actually need this area. I don't, they could work with one block just as fine. Cause all I do is break a block and then they place it right back. They don't need options. So what the minion expander does is it turns that five by five area into a seven by seven area. Why? Why would the minion need more options so it doesn't get bored? But with the Slayer update, they added a hidden attribute to minion expanders, which buff minion speed by 5%, which is still garbage. Diamond spreading gives like five times the value. Oh yeah, because technically if it's just like breaking the block and putting it back, then adding those spaces would, like it would still be the same speed, except for that 5%. It would still be the same speed, even if they have more blocks to mess with, I guess. I think that's how it works. I don't know. Didn't have enough space to put both of them in my minion. But unfortunately, diamond spread and only gives diamonds. If I wanted to become number one, I'd have to sacrifice all that free money for 5% more potatoes. With the minion expanders taking up so much extra space, the potato pyramid was no longer enough to fit all my minions within the farming crystal's radius. So I built the Potato Dome! Boasting nice. five <laughs> floors, the Potato Dome could fit oh all goodness. 22 expanded minions. And after oh, I'd wow. finished upgrading the rest of them to level nine, the Potato Dome could now produce 337,000 potatoes per day. At this point, the oh Potato gosh. Dome was the most powerful potato farm in Skyblock. I was ranked 20 on the leaderboards and rising 20. fast. And yet I knew oh my gosh, in my heart crazy. that it wasn't enough. I'm so invested in this story right now. Like, I want him to be number one in potatoes on this server. Like, I'm so invested. <laughs> could I do? Farm potatoes by hand? I actually did for like an hour. It made a tiny dent. Sure, it would have worked eventually, <laughs> but come on. Is mindlessly repeating the same task for hundreds of hours really what Skyblock's all about? Okay, yeah, pretty much, but I wasn't about to do that, man. When I said 100 hours, I was not kidding. And yet, as time went on, it began to seem like that was truly the only way. Oh my goodness. The opportunity of defeating the enemy <laughs> is provided by the enemy himself, Sun Tzu. I'd done it. I'd discovered a critical flaw with Squid Kid's <laughs> potato farm. His minions were too close together. Now with any other kind of minion, oh, no. that wouldn't have mattered at all, but potato minions are unique. When they're too close together, they'll start trying to plant in spots the other minions already planted and get stuck in an infinite loop 
dragging down the overall farm's potato output by as much as 90%. The reason he hadn't noticed this and was still first place in potatoes is because this only happens when someone is online and on the island, because otherwise Skyblock just runs a calculation to guess how many resources your minions would have made while you were offline. Anyways, he left the door to his AFK machine open, so I left my alt in there. Welcome to the real world, Squid Kid. Okay, can oh we take my gosh! He's just hanging out on the other person's island so that it would get messed up. He's put so much thought into this. This seems like so much time <laughs> that he's put into this. Come yeah. on, to talk about Jerry, all right? I got a Jerry here. I got a Jerry there. There's actually there's actually two Jerry's in there. I have video evidence, okay? Look at this. He's multiplying. He's undergoing mitosis. But that's not all the other day. I was just minding my business and then... Why is he there? I knew I couldn't rely <laughs> just on sabotage to get first place because who knows that there's other people out there just like Squid Kid throwing away everything just to farm more potatoes. So or I decided like to look into alternate <laughs> fuel sources for my minions. I mean, enchanted lava buckets are already the most efficient permanent fuel source in the game, but what about temporary fuel sources? So I got a bunch of hamster wheels, which give twice as much of a boost, 50%, hamster. but for only a day. And I threw like a hundred of them into the potato dome and it started making oh. 450,000 potatoes oh, per day. Goodness. And so the days went by. Every day I'd log in an AFK on Squid Kid's Island with my alt while my minions burned through hamster wheels quickly bringing me into the potato top 10. I was finally making good progress oh, until one day goodness. when I went to AFK on his island again. Uh-oh, he's been, he's been oh, caught. God, he's online. What do you want? <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? I just oh I, I just wanted to check on the last supper, man. You AFK'd on my island for 12 hours. It was a good painting. I figured Squid Kid would find it a little bit suspicious if the same guy was AFK at his island every day. So I got a second account and then I left them both in there. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why? Why are you guys here? I don't here? even know what they I've been are. Buying some enchanted baked I don't know potatoes what those are. from the. I, I really do hope you guys explain some of this stuff to me because I'm a little lost. This is genuinely hilarious, and I am very invested. And apparently, there's three parts to this. Like, this is only the first episode, I guess, in the three-part series. But I'm so invested in this right now. But I still don't know. Like, what are the Jerry's? Do they sell you stuff? Like, what, 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 are they just villagers? Yeah, just fill me in, guys. Thanks. Also, no idea what uh, any of this stuff is in his inventory. I need potato. 11 minions if I want to catch up as quickly as possible. We can't only have two. It's not enough. Well, well, I mean, it is enough, but I want to upload within the next year. But the problem <laughs> with the auction house is that it's filled with crazy people. Look, look at this guy. He's bidding 3.9 mil for 26. You think that's bad? 11 million. I, I could see someone bidding uh, 7 million on a stack of enchanted baked potatoes. 8 million. Uh, I could understand that. 11 million deranged psychopath. The There's I have no, no idea. How, I have no idea how long it takes for you to get that much money in this. So I, I, I don't really have a an estimate. I feel like I need to title this video "Noob Reacts" or "Skyblock Noob Reacts to the Great Potato War" because I have no idea. <laughs> After a couple days of minion farming and buying enchanted baked potatoes we have 102 which in regular potatoes is over 2.6 million and we can only make we can only make four maxed potato minions with it that's all we can make that's how expensive maxed potato minions are they're so good but it doesn't matter because they cost so much it's never going to pay <laughs> off they're all they're all gone <laughs> Whatever. It's it's for the leaderboards. I had to sell everything so I could invest in potatoes, man. I had to sell my young dragon armor, my oh, okay. rare cake collection, okay, gotcha. massively overinflated oh, wow. Halloween items. I had to mortgage my house. It's crazy out there. I actually did pretty well during the Halloween events, which allowed me to raise a lot of money. But I'm just saying, look at this spooky pile, right? Oh my gosh, limited this makes me edition play. item with my name and pig Ooh. rank stamped on them. Could you imagine how much money I would make? If I put this on the auction, I would make Dan TDM's 15 mil water bottle look like tap water. He left the <laughs> sign for me, whitelisted. What do you want from me? Ah. <laughs> 
I'm just ruining. He doesn't even him. know that techno is like at least not yet, but he doesn't even know that techno. Such a huge YouTuber do doing this. <laughs> he has no idea. He, he just thinks it's some person named Whitelisted. That's it. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Whole life, he's traumatized. He's just living in fear. Why are they here? Why do they keep <laughs> showing up? But after a few days, I ran out of hamster wheels and I had to resort. He probably doesn't even know why weapon. either. The catalyst. The catalyst is the strongest fuel source in the game, tripling your minion output, but they only last for three hours. Fortunately, I had a couple. With the power of catalysts, my potato output skyrocketed, and I put that all back into leveling up my minions. And in a matter of days, I had 22 potato 11 minions producing 893,000 <gasps> potatoes per day. I don't make hot potato books. I make hot potato libraries. Originally, I thought I'd have to go bankrupt buying catalysts if I wanted to catch up to Squid Kid, but I actually discovered that catalysts are amazing. I can buy the materials to make one for like 10,000 coins on the auction, and then each of them makes 14,000 coins in potatoes. This is a miracle. It's free money. So every day I sold hot potato books and then I bought more crystals. And then I sold more hot potato books and then I bought more crystals. And that's the story of how I made infinite money. Well, not really, because you can only use so many per day, but I made a lot and now <laughs> I was ranked three in potatoes. I did some oh more investigating. Oh my gosh. I found the guy He's ranked number so two in potatoes. I'm gonna give you guys three guesses as to who left a funny rating on his post. Squid Kid! I was right on his tail, but I decided to visit oh his island goodness. to see just how strong his potato farm was. Oh, this is a joke. This this is pathetic. Only 18 minion slots. This this is just sad. I've seen Irish famines with more potatoes than this farm. You might get away with this farm and some garbage vegetable like carrots. But potatoes? How dare you? Oh my god, this crystal. This crystal, it only covers five of these minions. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Against a farm like that, I easily <laughs> took rank number two. It oh seemed like I was God. only one He's step away nice. from my potato dreams. And yet Squid Kid had been so dominant on the potato leaderboards that he was still three million potatoes ahead. That would only take him like But with Catalyst, such a, a lead days. could be destroyed in a matter of days. Still, to be safe, I kept AFK on his island until one day. I checked my alt's window for a moment and the island was full. Two guys I'd never heard of before had called the police on Squid Kid and brought a helper to investigate him. Who oh called my. the police? Whitelisted, <laughs> are you Squid Kid's alt? No, I just AFK here a lot as a hobby. I'm so <laughs> suspicious. He doesn't believe me at all. I'm getting banned. He'd been investigating while Squid Kid was offline. I met him later that day and decided to warn him. Squid, I know we've had our differences, but the police are after you, man. I saw a helper. I saw a helper, Squid. There were two dudes, Squid. <laughs> they came to your island with, with the helper. They were snitching. I don't know why. I need names. Okay, let me get my my screenshots. I gotta be careful, man. The snitches <laughs> be everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna what go. What is it even on about? <laughs> Just act natural. Just why? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gone. It seemed strange to be helping my number one enemy, but his sheer dedication to farming potatoes had earned my respect. I had to give him help from one potato brother to another. Also, I'm deeply scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial names. killer talk. We ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. I kept farming potatoes, and in a matter of days, Squid Kid's lead was almost completely destroyed. And yet no Squid way. Kid himself had no idea. He even put a billboard on his island, number one in potatoes. But why would he suspect? Just a few days ago, he'd seen proof on the forums that he was millions in the lead. The poor fool had no idea what was coming. Oh my gosh. Updated? It hasn't updated. All right, I'm going to the hub. Has it updated? He's number one! Oh my god. Uh oh, that means yes. Squid Kid's gonna find out. That's not good. Number one in potatoes. <laughs> to celebrate, I took my two alts and my main account, and then I AFK'd on all three of them. Hey! I think at this point, Squid Kid knew that the alts were mine, oh, but no. he was so confused. Why? Why had Technoblade been afk and on his island for weeks? He was so confused that he didn't even realize that his potato leaderboard spot had already been taken. So I went to confront him myself. Oh my gosh! Time. What I do you want? This. Why are you doing this? <laughs> potato rank one spot is now mine. <laughs> 
He's got a he's check. Checking. He's, yeah, he's checking. He's checking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is... He's freaking out. Oh my god. For years, my machinations lay undetected. <laughs> you ruined my life! <laughs> oh my god. This is all I have. Oh. Had. <laughs> Squid. Oh. <laughs> Squid, I found a problem with your island. A critical flaw. Get over here. Over here! Squid! Squid, get over here. This sign, it has the wrong ah! number. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Pretty bad week for Squid Kid overall, I'd say. First he got arrested, and then I cyberbullied him, but it had to be done. And let me oh, just say, there is no chance of him catching up. I even got 23 million <laughs> slots just to bury any hope he had. This spot is mine. And that's the story of how I became number one on the oh, potato leaderboards. And we gosh. lived happily ever after. All the loose ends finally tied together. Apparently not. There's well, more videos. Except for one thing. Oh god, there's another one. There's another Jerry. And he's staring right at me. <gasps> there's another one. There's a Jerry. What the, in the heck? Water. No. Setting it up no, for no, another no, one or no. something. What is happening? There's another one out there. I don't understand. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? <gasps> there's another Jerry on the bridge. They've, the they've got me surrounded. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, oh my god, look, there's a second one I want to know. I bet you anything they go to war and I want to know more. If you guys are interested in seeing the next video, or like, I mean, me reacting to the next video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the like. If we hit, I don't know, a thousand likes, I will react to the second potato war. And I probably do a little bit more techno content because that was really hilarious. And also I'll give a quick thanks to my super supporters because you guys are amazing. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.